Okay, Ed, this is a test I'm using my iPhone to film this to see how this works. Okay, this is that uh, notebook I was telling you about. Um, it's made out of some paper designs that we have. It's like a grid paper. Uh, we have our work. Just used whatever I had on me. It's got some red eyelets with red thread. Basically what this is, this is about three or four strands to make one thread of, what is it, um, dental floss. And you can see the different color signatures there. Of the yellow ones are the tabs made out of manila folders to cut them down. See here? Kind of cool. I haven't used it yet, but I um, thought I'd just make it because we talked about it last time you were here. See? It's got elastic. Okay. I want to also share with you this other thing I came across. I wanted to make one out of leather and pulled out all my old leather wallets I never used anymore. This is one I used for many years ago and again just made stitched together some signatures and instead of having a hard cover I used um, cardstock. In fact all of these are all cardstock because I was experimenting with uh, I want to experiment with colors, watercolors, and stuff like that and right now it's attached inside this wallet right here with this little pocket side pocket that most wallets have it just slides in there like a sleeve and again you can also use it as a wallet and it's just some started some drawings here I don't know what's on here on some paper here and right now I don't have it attached but it slides right in there and I can't do it with one hand but it fits in there it's a nice little wallet sketchbook since uh, this Christmas I had a lot of extra time to work on a bunch of books this is my late well one of my latest ones this is a cool one I like again it's same stitching style, Copic, whatever it's called, um, elastic strap for my pen, pencil. There's nothing special about it, but I like the size. It's, it's made with um, cardstock covers with the paper. In fact, actually, what I did on this one was uh, you can't really tell, but I had an old sketch pad, really good Strathmore paper which I salvaged. It was one of those large formats. I just cut them down and made the signature. So this is a really good drawing paper that's inside this one. So I can't wait to start using this one. And this one was a really quick one I made. Also it's made with um, um, duct tape. Colored duct tape. It's this uh, colored duct tape you can buy at Michael's. This is the one I used. And again, I made, I got, well, this was inspired by a YouTube video um, for the moleskin um, videos that are out there. And this is kind of an accordion style sketchbook. The reason I did this one is because I heard somebody say that you don't want to draw uh, front and back only on one side. So in this way, you're drawing only on one side. On the other side, it doesn't get drawn, and it's all colored. Use this scrapbooking paper that I have laying around. Yeah, I know it's pink stripes. It's not good. so manly. It's a little girly paper. Anyway, this goes inside this little sleeve pocket I made. Which I can't put it in there right now. Next, um, I 
you've seen these. This is my old book I'm retiring. And my Leonardo da Vinci sketchbook. And this one I want to show you. This is kind of cool. This is made with, uh, this is an origami notebook. It's all folded with one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Now, this is a failed attempt mock-up piece that I made to try to um, successfully make it, but unfortunately the paper size is too small, so I need to calibrate it so that it fits well with the size of the cover. And when I master that, I'll, I guess I'll draw up a plan on how to fold it. I thought that was kind of cool. It's kind of similar to that zine that we, we talked about the last time you were here. And this is a really complicated folding steps to make this. Found this on the internet. Thought I'd try it. And I also want to show you these tins. These are cool tins. I like to make these little tin carrying cases that I can stick in my pocket. And I wanted to create one with color pencils. So about 20, 20, 22 pencils in here. And they all fit nicely. Got a little sharpener in there. You can just put that. Um, I drilled a little hole in the center and fed through one of the girls' elastic hair bands on there. This is a bigger tin. Got this in Michaels. They sell them as gift card holders. And I got a safe hairpin or something in there. Same concept. These are just the larger pencils. And the remaining pieces I used to, for this one. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I hope this video turns out. And I hope you can get it. We'll see what happens.